Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranca here from davidswishlist.com and that URL makes this series possible. But with that said, I just want to touch upon some criticism I've seen in recent comments. I have not gotten anything from David's Wishlist on Amazon in weeks because I haven't added anything in probably like a month. All of this stuff, including my last tech haul, was sent to me out of choice. I didn't ask for any of this. This was just a surprise sent directly to me and not through Amazon. I just want to put that out there because people seem to misconstrue my words sometimes. And plus, maybe I don't want to explain myself well enough. I don't know. But with that said, let's get to today's tech haul. And the first thing I would like to talk about is this resistance burning skies from a fan in Canada over at facebook.com slash electric DS. Okay, so this individual does not want their name mentioned and that's perfectly understandable, but they told me to say this in a the video. They are always looking for business. So if you're looking for graphic design work, check them out. Again, facebook.com slash electric DS. They were nice enough to send this to me. As you can see, it's still in the plastic because stupid me left my PlayStation Vita at my parents' house from the last weekend vlog. So I can't play any of the new games that I'm showing in today's video, but that's okay. That just gives me an excuse to play my video even more in Seaside Heights, of which I'm actually there right now. I'm recording this video way ahead of schedule. So remember, fill in the blank here. Thank you so much for Resistance Burning Skies. I know nothing about this game, which is actually a good thing. That way it's a complete surprise to me and I don't really have any hype or expectations. So thank you again. To continue the PlayStation Vita love, Let's talk about this game. I've heard so many good things about it. Tearaway for the Vita. Now this one comes from John Supnick. He is a 99gamers.com fan. He doesn't run the site, but he just told me to mention 99gamers.com because he loves the site. He enjoys it. And so do I actually. And I'll be talking about that at the end of this video as well as its own video in a few days or so because I got a bunch of games from them recently. But anyway, John, thank you so much. I believe you're a fellow patron over at davidthefracco.com slash Patreon. So I really appreciate that. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I really know nothing about it, except it's kind of like paper-based and maybe physics-based. I'm not really sure. It, it says, tapping into the innovative PS Vita controls, embark on a journey with your new friend, a paper craft messenger from another dimension. I just said another, like I another. But John, thank you, I appreciate it. Your support is awesome. Are you sick of hearing about PlayStation yet? Well, I hope not because the next item is this, a $10 PlayStation Network gift card from, oh, John Supnick, again, a 99gamers.com fan. John, thank you so much for your support. I love PlayStation. Oh wait, did I just say PlayStation Network? I guess I should say PlayStation Store, that's more accurate. But seriously, John, I love PlayStation Store gift cards. It's up there with Amazon. I love buying indies, I love buying DLC. Speaking of which, I still have to buy the DLC for Outlast. I've kind of been putting it off, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out. That's one of, actually that's the scariest game I've ever played, at least on a console. So I'm a little hesitant on downloading the DLC. So we'll see how that goes. But John, thank you so much. I love gift cards because it gives me the choice of, like I said, buying indies, DLC, and even maybe a full retail game. Now this next item is very unique. I cannot give the person's name, but let me just say this. I have connections at certain Apple stores and they were nice enough to send me this. Hold on, let me do this without ripping it. An official 30 years Apple poster. Is that not awesome? It is huge. So I'm going to do my best to find a good frame for this and put it on my wall, maybe in my office or probably my living room because I have more wall space in my living room. I don't really have a lot of empty wall space in here. Uh, but thank you so much. You know who you are. I really appreciate this. I'm a big, big fan of the 30 Apple thing that Apple's got going on for their 30th anniversary. I think it's really nice. It's, it's well done. It's simplistic. It's modern and it just looks nice. So it's really cool to see that in official poster form and I'm excited to get that up my wall at some point. I admit I'm a little lazy when it comes to hanging things up my wall. I mean I still have to paint for God's sake but that's a whole other video. So uh, anyway, thank you again. This next item you technically already saw in the weekend vlog is David Banther bought it for himself but then it magically arrived in the mail so I guess he didn't like it on his iPhone? 
And I gotta be honest, I really stressed to him outside of the Apple Store and AC that I love the green and it's pretty much a lime green, which is my favorite color for those who don't know that. It's just a great color, it's extremely bright. A thin form factor, which I really like. It doesn't add a lot of bulk at all to your iPhone. Pressing the sleep wake button is incredibly easy. I can't stand when cases make you struggle at just pushing the button. It's like, that should be easy. That to me is like the most used button besides your home button. But David Bather, thank you so much. Your mildly famousness-ishness is awesome. As always, I really appreciate your support. And you can check out David over at Instagram.com slash David Bather. And by the way, this is called the Spec Candy Shell. Unfortunately, I couldn't find this exact color on Amazon, but they have a bunch of colors available and I will link it right below regardless. And now finally wrapping up another very successful David's Tech Call, I'm going to briefly tease three games because I'm making a video specifically about 99gamers.com and showing kind of like my gaming haul, kind of like a tech haul, but only gaming focused. And it's going to be all about these three games. Little Big Planet for the Vita. Lumens Electronic Symphony, or is it Luminous? I have the first Luminous game, or Lumens. I can never figure out how to say it, even back then. Um, I had the first one for the PSP. Awesome game, extremely colorful, cool music. So I'm excited about playing it on the Vita and see how far it's come. And last but not least, I have had my eyes on this game for a while now. And I got it for really cheap on 99gamers.com. Thief for the PlayStation 4. I am really excited. It's stealth and first person. Two of my favorite things in the gaming industry. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out if I don't drop it. So guys, that is it. Your support is amazing and I will see you in my next video. Peace.